Hello, my name is Steve Borden and I'm the Region 1 Director for TDOT here in East Tennessee and, and today we want to talk about I-640. For most of us we know this 10 mile section of interstate is, as being a very vital link to the community that we're in. Uh, constructed around and finished around the 1982 World's Fair and that being said it's, it does have age on it and so today we're looking at talking about the infrastructure that we have and how we're going to improve the longevity and life of this section. Currently, uh, as you're out there, most of you'll see the western portion of this being under construction now as a resurfacing project. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is the, the other section, basically, that begins there at I-275 heading east, past Broadway and all the way over to the east side of town where it reconnects with I-40. This section, is, as we all know, has had problematic issues with the concrete pavement and distress and faulting of concrete slabs. Uh, over the years, we have done a lot of resurfacing projects, and one of the things that we're going to do now coming this next year is that we're actually going to reconstruct this whole section, very similar to what uh, Nashville did on I-440, and we're going to do a rubbleization project, and that's taking it down all the way to the concrete, uh, rubbleizing that concrete, and rebuilding our interstate on top of that, and thereby doing more than just a resurfacing job that may last six to seven years, but now we can get that longevity that will last 12, 13 years and on into the future. Crews will bring in special equipment for the process known as rebelization, a construction and engineering technique that involves saving time and transportation by reducing existing concrete into rubble where it currently stands instead of hauling it away. Once a section has been rubbleized, a new asphalt base will be placed to complete the paving riding section for motorists. This work is expected to bring permanent repairs to a problem that has been ongoing for decades along the 640 corridor. We appreciate the patience of the motoring public as crews help make 640 safer and a more efficient roadway.